So I just wanted to make a, a couple of comments about uh, the, the role of the NIH in, in all this. Uh, one of the major problems that I, I think that, uh, that parents around the country have faced is when they go to the scientific literature, they, they, they come back with a stone wall. They, 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 they hear that, well, the science hasn't been done, it's not rigorous. And part of the problem is that scientists are afraid to ask questions, basic questions that parents want answers to. Um, Secretary Kennedy uh, has asked me to, uh, for instance, to initiate a study on autism, the, the, the cause of the rise in autism. It's a, it's a, it's a question that's, uh, that is uh, at the, the front of the minds of so many parents across the country worried about their kids. Uh, and yet, scientific uh, progress on this has been slow because scientists are, are frankly scared to ask the question. Uh, the goal of, uh, of, of my leadership, the NIH, is going to make it so that those questions are no longer taboo among scientists. Scientists need to work on the th things that actually uh, uh, are at the top of the minds of the American people. The, the mission of the NIH is to, is to do research that extends the life expectancy and, Im and improves the health of the American people, and that's exactly what we're going to do. For the, since 2012, the United States has seen no increase in life expectancy, none. And it collapsed during the pandemic and only recently has it started to come back up to 2019 levels. That is a situation that is a catastrophic failure of the American public health system and it's, it frankly is also a failure of American scientists to address the key drivers of this, of this, uh, this uh, enormous chronic disease crisis we're facing. Um, and I'm really grateful to Secretary Kennedy for his leadership, and I'm, I'm grateful to President Trump for his leadership in giving us the opportunity to um, turn the ingenuity of American scientists to the questions of how to improve American health and to make America healthy again. Thank you.